So I'll provide these next few minutes to ensure that I am heard. I know the world doesn't need another men ain't shit piece, or to be specifically correct, you ain't shit, sir. I know that eventually I'll find my Prince Charming and receive the love that I deserve. I know that there are good men out there. I just can't find any that exist. But if my experience can save another woman from heartbreak, I can rest well knowing I was able to assist. The story began like they usually do. He sought me out. And it turned into conversation, exchanged numbers, met for drinks. Next thing you know, it was dating, or at least I thought it was dating, really. I was just a couple of season round draft pick. Because he still had a gang of groupies ready and waiting on the bench. That's fine. We didn't have titles, and I know my words, so I tried to walk away. But here he comes along with the title in the hopes that I would stay. And I was dumb. So it worked. Even though he was forever lurking in somebody's mentions, even though he was forever creeping in somebody's DMs all these years later, that so you still thirsted for somebody's attention. But when you love somebody, you're naive. You overlook their flaws to keep them happy while losing yourself in the pursuit of validation you didn't need. Lowering your defense and breaking down walls because you like it when he busts down your walls, though all signs are pointing in the opposite direction. Are you the only one that he's messing with? Exactly how close is he to his ex-girlfriend? And why does he still talk to her anyways if she literally lives in another state? Why does he do so much browsing on Backpage when you bust him down for free? <laughs> so much browsing on Backpage when you bust him down for free. I haven't had complaints in that area, so I don't think I'm the problem. Like I said, losing yourself in the pursuit of validation you didn't need. And every time I caught him in a lie, quick search of the phone, and what did I find? Always a text that was from another jig. Baby, I swear she's just a friend. News from some Twitter or Instagram bitch calls to hookers, because for some reason, actually, I can't even explain the hookers. You would have to ask him. He swore up and down that this was, I swore up and down that this was it. I'm not doing this anymore. I deserve better. You're selfish, and most importantly, you ain't shit. Every time he hit me with a baby, I'm sorry. You're right, I love you, I'll never do it again. Complete with a slew of flowers and edible arrangements while he low-key sent checks to other, sent other chicks the same thing. <laughs> you gotta remember, love makes you naive. So after a few days, I take him back, we be good for a few months, and then like a never-ending cycle, rinse and repeat. The lies got older, despite bolder, despite the fact that I had mountains of evidence proving, as a matter of fact, why he was wrong. Screenshots, emails, pictures of other women, exhibit A through C, complete with an essay, MLA citation, word cited with the cover page and a matching PowerPoint, yet he still try to maintain some kind of innocence. It doesn't make sense. If you didn't want a relationship, if you didn't want me, why beg me to stay? A real man won't let anything keep him from the woman he loves. Call the hell a high water, he'll always come through. Otherwise, these little boys only seem to make an excuse. It took me four fucking years and a whole lot of wasted tears to get to the point where I can walk away and not look back. At first he pinned and tried to recruit my friends to plead with me on his behalf, even called himself getting some counseling because he obviously needed some kind of help. And as I began to weaken again, he slipped back into his old ways, always thirsting for attention from everyone that isn't important. He claims he wants to be an actor, yet our love life was the stage. We each have our role. Oh yeah, all tea, all shade, you didn't know? He claims he wants to be an actor. Apparently our love life was the stage. We each had our role. He played the, he played the redeemed hero while I played the fool. Looking back on it, I wouldn't have changed anything because as cruel as the outcome was, it was still a lesson learned. I'm a stronger woman today than I would have been if I would have stayed. And I sincerely pity whoever the next female is that's pulled into his games. He's still out there looking for Facebook likes and retweets. 
buying Instagram followers to give him the validation that he needs from like we never dated at all. followers to give him the validation that he needs fronting like we never dated at all. He'll hit me up now and then saying hi, tagging me in something that he thinks I would like, but all that says to me is that I'm still on your mind. Now and then he'll, you know, go ahead and throw a curveball. He sent me some song lyrics on some four long Drake ass kind of shit. I dare not respond because that's giving him attention that he doesn't deserve. This poem is already enough. I haven't called nor I haven't texted nor called him in a few months, but last night he had the nerve to hit me up during booty call hours and accuse me of vandalizing a car that belongs to his stepdaddy. <laughs> now by all means I am the petty club president, but why go for your people's property? That doesn't make sense. Collateral damage, though? The least I could do is make sure that I got the right whip, the one that belongs to him. <laughs> Heaven forbid that there's actually crime in y'all's little neighborhood. Yet you forgot who helped you with your taxes once upon a time, so if I really wanted to fuck up some shit, I could. Not only do I know that you're licking your work, I can easily just use your driver's license, your social security, your debit card number, and damage your credit for the next several years, so nigga, what's good? I'm not going to do it because I don't want that on my conscience, I don't want that karma, and I don't want to try to catch any jail time. And I know that that little debacle was nothing but a sad cry for attention. Ladies, take it from me. It's hard at first, but eventually things will get better. They always do. Some people change. Some stay the same. But if you've had enough, the only one stopping you from walking away is you. Trust your instinct. Pay attention to the signs. Forgive, but never, ever forget. And above all else, stay strong. Life does go on, and your tears will dry. You deserve better. I walked away because I now know better, and I can assure you that there is still some good in goodbye. <laughs>